I am now continuing on from the point where I last left off that point over there. So I guess this uh, pole marks the proper top of this uh, quote unquote next hill that I was observing from afar before. And now it's downhill again. Onward I guess. Fun fact, all these felled trees are fallen uh, as a result of a, uh, a little storm a few years ago. And it would seem that these uh, small valleys between hills create some sort of like uh, tiny tornado corridors or something. So it was like... Whoosh. So, top the next hill, I would think. This one without a, uh, a cliff face. Looks like it's building up for a rain slash thunder. We'll see about that. Hmm. The terrain is changing a little bit, or more likely the. Uh, um, plant coverage is changing a bit. You can see uh, more birch trees and and more sort of dry moss and and all that. Hmm. I wonder where that path goes. I can hear uh, some traffic noises from from that direction which is consistent with the positioning of the gravel road. So I have to wonder if I can sort of uh, make a way from this side or find, find a break through the gravel path as well. I will, I will continue on a little bit more and then I'm going to explore that, that part. So once again I'm deviating from the hiking path a little bit and getting close to the water. <laughs> Although this is basically like highway here, paths everywhere. But yeah, I am following this one to a glorious little clearing. This is another of those uh, spots where, where it's good to board a boat. Another little blissful, blissful uh, fisherman camp. They even have some firewood stashed here. Why, hello, classical pine forest. You can't tell it from here, but the uh, ground is all blueberries. <laughs> Pretty awesome sight, isn't it? Also, fun fact, I believe it's the very same kind of forest uh, that is used in, uh, in Stalker Lost Alpha in the forest level in some places. Hmm. Here is life forms. I think this one's a fungus or lichen. Whoa, more of that ancient life form stuff. It goes all the way down too. 
Yeah, I think we are definitely moving to somewhat different biomes than the ones that are in our sauna backyard. Like uh, it's more, more like the uh, I don't know, <laughs> ancient. Oh, hey, a little unofficial shelter. This is pretty cool. almost looks as if uh, there was a workshop for making these kinds of shelters here. Like there's the wind breaking part and the rain catching part and water collecting part and all that. Or maybe just some fishermen have, have had fun or some local kids. Vantage point. I think I'm higher than I ever was before. And the river's all the way down there. Totally looks like a moose. In case you can't see, there's a ducks out there. Tree anomaly. Oh, come on, people. Stuff your paper under the moss, damn it. There, I did it for you. Right, I think I will let this uh, clearing serve as my next checkpoint. Let the squirrels be my witnesses. And I don't actually know how how many uh, more loops will there be until the uh, the dam. But at this point, I'm definitely um, beyond the halfway mark. Well, starting from from our place. So yeah. I'm, I'm gonna stop here and maybe grab a few more moments uh, on my way back. Why hello there. Right, here's the thing. If you're able-minded and able-bodied enough to come to the forest on your own, then you should be able-minded and able-bodied enough to pick up your own damn garbage. Congratulations, I just took away one of your adult points and that is it to my account. Okay, I'm gonna explore a little bit of path, even though I don't want to get too far into the undergrowth. But this, oh my! The woodpeckers have done a mighty job here. On my return trip, I have arrived at this fork and I'm gonna take this path and see where it goes. Maybe it's just gonna uh, converge with the, with the hiking path anyway, but it looks like it's been used by vehicles at, at some point, so I'm kind of thinking maybe it, it leads to the gravel path. So far it seems to be heading to the right direction. Also, quite scenic, I might add. If you'll excuse me, excuse me. <coughs> the road to X is closed.
Oh, the pot thickens. You can't actually tell if this is the same uh, path that, uh, that I have taken before or if this one is an alternative one. Either way, I'm gonna find out. Oh, I think I can already see the road. I mean, seriously. Shit. Ah, so I couldn't see the road but this clearing. So yeah, it's continuing on. And it's definitely not the same uh, vehicle path that I have taken before. But that is of no consequence because it's going to the right direction. Don't you just wish you were just strolling this very road right now? Or path, whatever. Onward! Huh. More conjoining paths. Interesting. Now what do we do? That? Or that? That way is certainly getting me back homeward. And the others might uh, might take to different forms, actually. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna turn back homeward and explore those other options some other time. Onward! Haha, I believe we have a winner. So basically this path I'm on right now seems to be a smaller branch of the uh, very gravel road that I'm looking for. I've always wondered what happens to the road on this side, like when it reaches here, and I have actually... Oh, okay, so this is the mark. Okay. So yeah, I have, I have never actually uh, been to this point on the road, I mean. <laughs> this is exciting. Hello. Oh, you're cute. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if this is this is not a snake. I think that's the lizard. The the one without legs. I think. Come on, dude, get off the road. Yo. Yes, yes, go, 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 go. Over there. That there's there's this one. Go, go, go. Oh, I think it's hard for it on these, on the gravel. Go! Damn it! At the boy. Go! I'm not happy until it's properly off the road. Come on! Shoot! Sh Into the grass now. Good. Now I can go home. So yeah, I was only now getting to the uh, usual exit point that I have uh, popped out of earlier. It was considerably farther away than I guessed first. <laughs>